Greetings everybody, the Mechanist here, and welcome to the grand finale of our Crash Bandicoot 1 playthrough, where in today's video we got the rest of the clear gems and beat the true final level. So I do hope you enjoyed the video, and if you do, please consider hitting the like button and impacting the subscribe button. It'll help out in the long run. With all that the way, I do hope you enjoyed the video. And we're in. Alright, road to nowhere. Let's get this done. We need the red gem to complete this stage, so let's do that, shall we? <laughs> now, unfortunately, like all the other ones, we've already done these stages before. Got pillboxed, again. You know, this is like the only stage this happens. This and the castle climb. They're like the only time you get pillboxed. Probably because they're, you know, precision platforming stages. Okay, wasted that, but I don't care. Try to do some speedrunner strats, right? <laughs> nah. I don't know any speedrunner strats for Crash 1 besides probably just running on the rope. Alright, get these boxes, because this is what we're here for. The boxes. So that way we can complete the super secret final stage and get the true ending. Quote unquote. Alright, come here piggy. You will not get revenge for me riding your friends or possibly family. Mm, sorry to say. So, while we're here, I'm going to rank the Crash Bandicoot game... games... Um, from my personal favorite to least. You know, that does not personal least to best. What am I saying? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm going to take a break from this conversation and do this puzzle. So, this is an intricate little puzzle, mainly because you screw up once, and that's it. Although, I do believe you can just cheat it by, you know, jumping up here and hitting that. Let's do it the original way. So, you do that by hitting this box. It triggers that. Which allows us to come over here to hit that. If you miss it, you gotta start over. To come over here, jump on here, and we're done. But like I said, you can just... If I remember correctly, you can just crash work with me here, do that, and you hit it anyways. <laughs> Alright. And now we do this, because that magically appears. There was no outline, but it's there now. And every crate acquired. So let's just go back and continue the stage as normal. So as I was trying to say, I'm going to rank the Crash Bandicoot games 1, 2, and 3, I should say, the original trilogy in two categories. First one, personal preference. Now, does that mean number three is the worst? Absolutely not. I just think the other two are better. And after that ranking, they got pill- actually, no, I don't think I got pillboxed, I just missed. And after that, I'm going to do an actual ranking. So, what are my personal fi- that was a pillbox. Let's try that again. So, personal ranking. I think it goes three, then two, then one. I know, haha, ha, very funny. Reverse order. But, I don't know, I just have a soft spot for 3. Probably because of... Can't say, because spoilers, in case you haven't seen Crash Bandicoot 3. If you do, let's just say he gets his iconic weapon and vehicle in 3. <laughs> Something to look forward to if you haven't seen Crash Bandicoot 3. Alright, bonus stage. But, I don't know, I just think it goes 3, then 2, then 1. The reason I'm giving 2, you know pretty high up regards is because to be um, let me how do I, I got pillboxed how do I put this Crash Bandicoot 2 ended up establishing what Crash Bandicoot would be known for it's platforming it well not platforming but it's worlds the incentives I don't I don't know what I'm saying but basically Crash Bandicoot 2 establishes what Crash would become or rather what Crash would be known for Okay, get these, wait till that blows up. Okay, we're good. Whereas Crash Bandicoot 1 is just... You know, I wish I could put it higher, but it's kind of hard on a list of three to put anything pretty high. Because, I mean, this is, you know, the originator. Without this, we wouldn't have Crash 2 or 3. But, I don't know, it's just... It has a different vibe from what 2 and 3 have. Okay, let's not screw this up. Alright... So, now we have these invisible platforms, which are very easy to screw up, just like that. <laughs> Alright, let's try again, and let's finish the stage this time. Alright, jump. Jump again, thank you turtles, for your sacrifice. Alright, go here, and get pillboxed. Alright, is this really going to take me a long time? You know what? If I knew some techniques, I would just blitz to the end. But I don't, so we gotta take our time. Here 
for now. I'll get back to what I was saying in a minute. Alright, get down here and make sure to land on the red gem. It is entirely possible to skip and actually finish the level. <laughs> Alright, so there is only one platform there. I thought there was two. I was going to say, here's a little tip, but turns out that tip was wrong. <laughs> Alright, no more wasting time, Crash. Let's get this done so we can move on to the other stages. We only have three more complete. Alright, get this done, soft mode. Alright, jump. Jump. And jump again. Jump one more time. And we got it. Alright, another level 100%. Hooray. And here we are at Boulder Dash, a run backwards level. Now, this level we were unable to complete 100% because I think you need the blue gem. But it's not a difficult stage, so let's run. So as I was saying, Crash Bandicoot 1, you know, is, you know, the reason Crash is Crash, but it feels very, um, obvious what it was. I mean, these are islands, you know, the stages are islands or island theme, and only at the very end you all of a sudden go to a castle, and by then you're ready at the end of the game. Whereas 2 and 3, you know, they have fantastical worlds and levels, and bosses and unique arenas and heck there's even the special color gem thing we'll get to there trust me so i don't know i just feel my personal preferences are three then two then one when it comes to crash bandicoot now what do i think the actual ranking is honestly i think number two is the best game yes unbiased Ooh, careful 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 and oh i thought we got the special animation <laughs> But yeah, unbiased, I believe it goes Crash Bandicoot 2, then 1, then 3. For as much as I love 3, it does have some problems. We will get to there, but basically, not as much platforming as 1 and 2. That's basically what holds Crash Bandicoot 3 back, in my opinion. So yeah, personally, I think it goes 3, 2, 1, but in actuality, slash, if I'm being unbiased, I think 2 is the best Crash Bandicoot game, followed by Crash Bandicoot 1 for being the purest form, and then Crash Bandicoot 3 for being too different from what Crash is. Oh no, we didn't get them. Oh, it's the purple gem. I forgot about the purple gem. <laughs> so now we go down here because this is a thing. <laughs> Pretty cool little cavern zone, right? Alright, gotta make sure we hit everything, otherwise what's the point? Careful, make sure we don't miss anything, and there's a plant down here. How'd you get down here? Well, however you got down here, you're no longer welcome. Did we just make that species go extinct? Because that was the only ones I think we've encountered. But, you know what, here's a lot of run-ups in case we needed it. We did it. Now, my question is, why is there cortex and embryo faces down here? This place looks abandoned. <laughs> oh well, next level. Up next, Heavy Machinery, which I don't think we needed a gem for, I just think I screwed up my first time through. <laughs> Oops, it happened so, right? I mean, it's notorious for happening to Crash Bandicoot. Alright, I think it's not here, but the next jump, you gotta go down. Careful these red hot pipes. Yeah, right here. Alright, jump down. There we go. Get another Aku Aku, get an Embryo, and get a 1-Up, because I clearly need those being at 99 lives. <laughs> Oops, and that was very foolish of me. Although I think I got pillboxed. <laughs> no, I killed myself, but I'm saying the pillbox, I think, is what ultimately killed me. It was recoverable, is what I'm trying to say. Oh well, it happened, moving on. Another Aku Aku, thank you. So, what else is there? Well, there's only two more stages to do, so I don't really have that much more to talk about. We just gotta complete these and get done. Unfortunately, we saved the worst for last, Cortex Power. We'll get there in a second, but that stage has so much back and forth tracking, it just is super, super, super annoying. In fact, if it takes too long, I'm tempted, and I'm surprised I made that jump, to just skip to where I'm done. Basically, show off the whole stage and... Then snap my fingers if I had any, and we're at the end. 
don't know if we're doing that yet or not. So let's just keep focusing on this stage. Make sure we don't miss any boxes this time. One thing was, I think it was this stage, I was talking about how it's natural in Crash Bandicoot to miss one box. It just happens. No matter how many times you play, you're going to miss a box. It's kind of like the curse of Crash. Although I'm pretty sure sometimes a box just doesn't spawn. Because I swear I could do the same stage three times and the one time that I don't get the gem, it just doesn't happen for some reason. Like you hit the... This is bad. Careful. Careful. How do we survive that? Like I'm just convinced that it doesn't count a box and that's why you get that effect. I don't know if that's true or not, but it just happens. <laughs> But at the same time, it's kind of um, retro in that regard. Because, I mean, the first time people play Crash Bandicoot, they probably go to these levels two, three, four times before they get the gem. So to force, you know, people who are experienced in these levels to go back, it's kind of nice. And bonus stage. Alright, what annoying bonus is this? Oh, a very annoying one. So, let's do this, shall we? And make sure it counts to five. Do it to yourself and do it out loud, whatever. Just make sure you count correctly. And now for this tricky part, one there, and we are good. As long as we don't screw up here. Careful, careful, careful. And you know what? I think this is that big tree in the background I pointed out in the um, ancient temple stages. Which means all these bonus levels take place on one giant tree. Weird but cool, if true. Which would also explain why you never go there. Despite the fact I still want to level there. <laughs> Alright, careful of the steam, and we're good. You know, I wonder what this place smells like. It looks like a combination of raw iron and whatever radioactivity smells like. So very iron and... I want to say sour. Like a sour smell. Hmm. Let me know what you think this place smells like. <laughs> All right, careful, careful, careful. This is a trap. And what is it? It's a bunch of boxes, and we have Booga Booga Power. So, let's utilize it. And by that, I mean whatever the game will let us do. <laughs> sure, we can ignore all of this, but then you get to places like this. Where you can only move so fast. And then you have this. So, again, no matter how fast you're moving, kind of don't really get to use it. Unfortunate, but at least I got it. <laughs> All right, Embryo, time for your bonus stage, aka the Aku Aku Wrecker. All right, let's do this. Jump. Oh, it's this one. Personally, I like this challenge. It's difficult, yes. Pillbox can really screw you, but I like it. Right, careful. A little bit more, and I fell behind and got pillbox. Exactly like I said. All right, attempt number two. Here we go. So we don't have Aku Aku weighing us down. That's a joke because Aku Aku just floats there. It'd be funny though if that somehow weighed Crash down. Alright, gotta make sure we get on the very end we have the room we need. Now, I'm going to let these spawn for a second and careful because we cannot see Crash. But I think we have it this time. Cool, only two attempts. Kaboom. So glad they didn't kill me. <laughs> Alright, how much stage is left? Probably not a lot. Yeah, only four boxes, so as long as we didn't miss any, again, we should be fine. Alright, four boxes, where are you? It was probably here that I missed it. Careful. Let's try the right. Nope, there's one right there. Alright. Please tell me I didn't miss any. Okay, now we just need three. I said three, not drop to the floor. <laughs> Alright, where are you? Come on, I know we're close. Where are you? There they are. One, two, three. And just like that, we're done. And I, again, don't feel like I did anything different, but we got the gem this time, so on to the last level to 100%. And here we are at Cortex Power, the only stage that gets an introduction. 
And oh boy, is this going to be a doozy. Because like I said, there's a lot of backtracking and forking paths and I don't like this stage. I really don't. I might be saying, oh, well, don't you, you know, how many stages do you like or dislike? Oh Basically, this is the only one I don't like. Yeah, not gonna lie. All right, so let's try going right first. And did we get the correct path? I don't think we did. So let's backtrack. This is all this stage basically is. Going far enough and saying, did I, and I died. Well, I guess I gotta find out this way. All right, out of my way. Pushing off. I don't, don't have time for this. Let's get this done and I'll force me, but whatever. So let's try going left. Yeah, this is the way you're supposed to go. Why? Because of this. I haven't seen this enemy yet. This is the only level they spawn in. Gotta be careful. And done. So why did we come this way? Let's find out. Careful. And I almost screwed that up. Okay, we did go the wrong way, but here's the blue gem. This is why I don't like this stage. So I'm just going to reset myself rather than walking all the way back. But like I said, if this ends up taking way too long, I'm just going to show off the entire stage. And then from there, I'm going to just cut to when I have the gem. Hopefully I don't have to do that. Let's find out. So, we were right the first time. Just had to confirm. So, jump. Jump. Here we are. Careful. Careful. Checkpoint. Nice. Now we can't reset. So we go down here. And I believe we go right again. Is that correct? Yes it is. I can tell from this odd level design. Here we are at you. Now we gotta play safe. You know, kind of uh, hit towards... Careful. Um, how you fight pinstripe. Now we have those boxes and we activated that clear, or uh, the quick exclamation mark box. Now careful with this jumping. Now we go to the left. Careful with these. Up here and so begins the backtracking. I'm going to take this checkpoint though, just to be safe. Probably better to save it, but whatever. So now we go back here. Careful. And get hit. Don't care. Now we're back here with the blue gem. So let's keep going. If we did not get hit, we would have had Aku Aku form, but we did. Oh well, we didn't die. Okay, time this out. Careful. Now we go. Jump. Watch out for these. Oh boy, isn't this fun. Luckily, I could just do this. Now we wait for them to blow up. And get counted. They counted. Right, a little bit further. Careful. Don't go too fast or you're going to make a mistake. And keep going. Get hit. Of course we did. Blue gem, take me to safety. And now we have to, that's right, go back. Again. Careful. We have an Aku Aku. Let's not waste it. Oop, that was really bad. Then now we saved it. Careful. Go on concentration. Careful. And we weren't supposed to stop, were we? Careful. All the way back, make sure we're good. I don't like this jump. Jump, and we're dead. Ooh, ooh. Okay, we're alive. I don't know what just happened, but we'll take it. And it's just a checkpoint. Whatever, confirmed. Alright, now let's not die, Crash. Let's not die, we did some really cool stuff. Okay, watch it. Go. Careful, and go, jump, this part's difficult, not that part so much as here, and died. Alright, let's redo that, so over here, actually you know what, let's check up front real quick, and die, didn't mean to do that, let's go forward and see if we missed any boxes, or rather where the boxes are, so we know how far to backtrack. Okay, we now know we gotta go to electricity. So back to where we started. Alright. So, let's get this done in this shot. Or let's try to, rather. Go down here. This is how you're actually supposed to do it. I don't like doing that. 
All right, Blue Gem, take me to victory. We're running a little late here. All right, get the Aku Aku in case we need it, which we're probably going to. Let's be real. All right, dodge the electricity and the flaming hot pipes. Do this. Wait for them to be confirmed. And there we go. Jump, dodge, and wait. Basically, all Crash Bandicoot is. Patience and knowing when to jump. Actually, isn't that most platformers? Ooh, that was really bad of me. Got a little ahead of myself, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, now we backtrack once again. But this time, we know when to stop. Careful, a little bit forward. And we're right here. And whatever. Go, Crash, go! Careful. And they already broke. Can I just skip that part entirely? Ooh, actually, what if we do this? I got an idea. Probably should have been doing this all along. So if we do that, we break those. We run back without dying. Why did that drop? All right, let's try this again. We're gonna cheat the system. Flash, probably do how you're supposed to. So if we come here and hit that, those are broke now. So now we wait for this thing to come back up. Come back up. I said come back up. There it is. Now we... Okay. Now we just backtrack, only now we don't have to backtrack all the way. Yes, I think I solved it. <laughs> now it doesn't have to be as difficult. Still gotta do it without dying, but I think I solved this level finally. I've only played it... Mm, Unable to compute <laughs> times. Whatever, let's get this done finally. I know I keep saying that, and this time if I die, I'm just gonna cut. Until we have it complete, that is. Just because I really don't want to spend the rest of my time here. Right, blow you up, don't care, let's keep moving. Actually, we have better wait. Alright, they counted. Keep moving, don't care. Hey, how'd we dodge that? <laughs> Skill, that's how. Crash Bandicoot skill. Careful. There's the platform. Now we do not have to backtrack. I hope. Alright, this should be it, right? Nope. Little bit of difficult jump, so... Count with me. Are we almost done? Please be... Yes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> With that, we have 100% Crash Bandicoot. Now for the secret level slash true ending. Well, let's get that real quick. Hit him with that 100%. Kaboom. Hey, just popping in real quick to mention that I know Stormy Ascent is here, and I know it was intended to be a part of the original game, but it wasn't. So I've decided I'm going to come back here when we complete Crash Bandicoot 3 100% to play Stormy Ascent bonus stage, and the original stage created for Crash Bandicoot 3. Just thought I'd clarify that before we take on the final stage. And here we are at the Great Hall, the final level to get the secret ending. So, we needed the gems to do this because, I don't know if you remember, but I was ranting about how it's really that the color gems seem to just activate platforms, you know, like via power, but with these you actually needed to get all the clear gems. I'm not really complaining, it's just a weird little detail. Autana. Because apparently that's the point of this game. <laughs> that being said, I am thinking about releasing a bonus episode, maybe Saturday, explaining my interpreted story of Crash Bandicoot 1. Just be a short little 5 minute video, but I haven't decided if we're going to do that yet or not. Alright, a little bit of platforming and we've officially beaten the game. Celebrate Crash, we're done. And here we are at the quote-unquote true ending. Because apparently we needed the bird, because, you know, the blimp wasn't enough. <laughs> Whatever, fly off into the distance and we've saved the day. Now some people say, oh, this leaves Cortex alone, but... You know, I like to think Crash comes back here after crashing the blimp. <laughs> Alright, time for a little bonus. Papu Papu sold the ruins of Cortex Castle to a resort developer. Then use the proceeds to open up a big and tall store on the island. Cool. 
After intense therapy and eight years of higher education, Dr. Wu went on to write the well-received book Through the Eye of the Vortex, a study of rapid evolution and its consequences. Qualicon moved to Hollywood and landed a motion picture deal of universal proportions. Currently, he is working with a speech therapist to improve his diction. Cool. Pinstripe moved to Chicago, where he now owns and operates a citywide sanitation company. He is saving money for upcoming... I can't say that. <laughs> After the disappearance of his mentor, Dr. Nitrous Brio rediscovered his first love, Tending Bar. I guess that's why he likes to mix potions. The world has heard nothing more of Cortex since Crash followed his plans, but evil geniuses are harder to squash than cockroaches. And with that, we are done with Crash Bandicoot 1. I do hope you enjoyed. Well, that was a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed playing. This has been The Mechanist, logging off. Until next time.